G'day, here we are again. So today we're going to have a look at trinomials and we're going to look at the difference between a monic and a non-monic trinomial. So um, monic is basically a word for one, whereas non-monic means not one. Um, and if you look at the screen, you'll see that there's seven different expressions here, okay? And all the blue ones have something similar about them and all the green ones have something similar about them. Now, the blue ones are all monic trinomials. And they're monic trinomials because the coefficient of x squared, okay, so the number in front of x squared is 1. Whereas the green ones are non-monic because the coefficient of x squared is not 1. And we deal with non-monic trinomials in a, um, in a couple of ways, okay? It's always easier to deal with monic trinomials using that cross, cross method that we've been doing. So I'm going to show you in some situations what we can do when we're given a non-monic trinomial. So I'm going to call this example 5 because we're still looking at the cross method. So for example, let's suppose we got given something like 6x squared plus 18x plus 12. Now, it's not monic, meaning that the coefficient of x is not 1. And it's very hard to deal with it. It's not impossible, but it's hard to deal with. So we always look to see if there's a shortcut. And our first test is, well, is there a common factor to each of these terms? Because if I can take a common factor out and then deal with a monic, it's really, really easy. So I notice that 6 goes into all three of these numbers. So I think, well, what would happen if I take 6 out and then... I figure out the rest. So 18 divided by 6 is 3, 12 divided by 6 is 2. So I'm just saying that this expression is the same as 6 multiplied by this expression. Now I've got a monic trinomial, okay? And I'm going to try using the cross method with this. I'm going to keep this 6 out the front. It's just one of the factors. And I'm going to see if I can factorise the other section of it. All right, so let's do our little box over here we've got factors and we've got sum all right so two to get to two uh, my factor pairs are two and one so two plus one does that equal three well sure it does so in order to factorize it I open up my brackets I put x at the front of both I choose positive two in one of them positive one in the other and I've factorised it. I now have three factors, 6 times x plus 2 times x plus 1, which would have given me that original expression. So that's not too bad. I'll have another go with a slightly different example. Suppose we're given negative x squared. Take 8x. Take 7. Now, is it monic or is it non-monic? Well, the coefficient of x squared is negative and there's our imaginary one. So it's not monic. We want to find a way to get rid of that negative because it's much easier to work with positives. So if I take negative 1 outside as a common factor, I'll end up with negative 1, imaginary, times x squared plus 8x plus 7. Okay, Then I can deal with this section. I can deal with my nice monic trinomial. So keep that negative there. It's really important because that's a factor on its own. Negative 1 is one of the factors. And then I look at this and I do the same thing. I'm looking at 7 and I'm thinking, oh, well, 7's a prime. So there's only really one way we can go about this. 7 and 1. 7 plus 1 equals 8, so that's great. So I've got x in the front of each bracket, plus 7 and plus 1. Alright, so 
By taking out the common factor first, I could deal with a monic trinomial, and then it was really, really easy. So I'm going to stop you there, and I'll be back soon.